So in the first two seasons of The Walking Dead, Shane plays a massive role in the story. He is a big character for, you know, the overall story in general. And even now we still, you know, see hints of Shane liking the ones who live when we see that phone with, you know, him on the, with his face on it, like Rick got the guy to draw. Um, it's like, Shane is a very interesting character to me and now he's always been in my top four favourite characters and I know I have always got a lot of people you know, commenting about that, because I have made a few videos on Shane in the past, um, and yeah, I have made a video about Shane being a disliked character, uh, but that doesn't take away the fact that he was massively important to the Walking Dead story overall, and he has changed the story, you know, not, you know, any of the plots, but, you know, certain characters in general that, without Shane, who obviously is Rick, uh, who had, who had changed because of Shane, then we wouldn't have, you know, had the overall story we have now, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today, um, so yeah, if you do enjoy, please like and subscribe, subscribe, um, and yeah, let's just get straight into it, so, like I said, Shane is, you know, a very enjoyable character for me, I think he, he is in my top four favourite characters, and he's just an, he's just a good character to watch, especially in season two, he's more, he's more of a, you know, he's in it a lot more than he is in season, of course we see a lot of him in season one, but season two is, I think, his Shane season, um, I think we all knew he was gonna die, you know, he was never gonna survive, and, you know, be the character, be in later seasons and have these, you know, plot twists that everyone wanted to him to have, you know, like him returning as as Negan's right-hand man in The Saviors, which would have been really cool to see. But Shane was always there to build Rick as a character. And, you know, personally, Shane was a very well-written character and he is a fan of, well, you know, season two, he was a massive character. And I know a lot of people don't like him as a character, but Overall, that doesn't take away the fact that he is massively important to the story and to some characters. And, you know, there was a lot of moments in The Walking Dead that prove this, you know. Um, you know, Rick killing Shane, Shane making him do it because, you know, he wanted him to be stronger and needed him to be stronger. Shane was never going to kill him. And, well, the original plan was, and I have made a video on that, which, you know, you guys should go watch. about The original plan for Shane's death was that, you know, Rick was going to sh try shoot the gun and the bullet never came out. And but it, it was because Shane was never going to kill him or shoot him. Um, and he, he went out there for Rick to kill him. And it's a very interesting, you know, twist and a very great ending that I think they should have gone with. But of course, the writers and the, you know the producers had a different had a different story to go with, um, and I still do enjoy what they went with. Uh, but I guess we all can think that that was the way Shane wanted to die was for Rick to kill him. And I think you know in season nine in Rick's last episode, it does sort of hint at that. You know, uh, Shane sort of telling Rick that all of the stuff he he's done is because of Shane, and that was that side of him that needed to come out you know, him saying that he takes credit for it because, you know, if Rick didn't kill Shane, then, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been like, been like that. And I don't think Rick would have been the character he is today. He wouldn't have grown to the limits he's gone to um, if he had never killed Shane. You know, that it did have a massive impact on him. Um, you know, Laurie's death did as well in the early seasons. Um, and yeah, season nine is a massive... Um, I guess, indication to how big of a character Shane was in Rick's story. Um, and yeah, it just it just evolved him as a character. You know, Rick killing Gareth with the machete, you know, brutally in the church. Um, you know, Rick biting Joe's throat out. Um, and Rick doing the stuff that he, he's done, like, you know, lying to the saviors when he was going to give them a chance, uh, when he gave them his word, but killed them anyway. Like, there's so many things that we look at and we compare with Shane, you know, we all, we, we, we all say that season five Rick is, is what Shane would have become, and, you know, that side of Rick is Shane inside of Rick, you know, if you, like, it was always in there, you know, that side of Shane, as soon as Rick killed him, I think that is when Shane went in, you know, that side of Shane was always going to be in Rick in, later in the apocalypse, and, and it was, it was always there, and it's just really interesting to see in the later seasons, um, Rick slowly and gradually turning into Shane. Of course, he wasn't bad like Shane, and he wasn't um, a villain like Shane was, I guess you could say, in the early seasons, uh, in the first two seasons. But Rick, you could see that aspect of Shane when Rick, you know, killed people and did some, you know, the crazy stuff that Rick did. That was always, you know, like we heard in season nine, that was because of Shane. And he takes credit for it, of course, in Rick's hallucination, um, and yeah, it's just really interesting to talk about for me, because I do enjoy, enjoy Shane as a character, and I guess 
that he's he's never really gone because you know the way Rick changed is the way you know he changed into Shane the stuff that he did he knew that he had to have that mindset in the apocalypse that he couldn't have the mindset of what Dale wanted and what the other people in the group wanted he knew that he had to go with what Shane what Shane had in the early seasons and people thought he was insane but you know he just adapted a lot quickly than the others the others did and maybe that just shows his mentality and um how he wasn't really mentally stable because he wasn't I do think you know the stuff with Laurie and all that stuff it does ruin him as a character because I think if that never happened of course Rick he, Shane would still be there with Rick and Daryl and I think that would be an awesome trio to see um and I would love to have seen that but of course Shane was always you know it was always destined to happen he's always going to meet his demise and in season two but I think that uh his his overall character and his story and his arc as overall, it has had a massive impact in the Walking Dead universe. And I, I personally do think it did change it. It definitely did change it because, you know, Rick is the main character. Rick is the Walking Dead. And we look at Rick now and all the badass stuff that he's done, all the crazy stuff that he's done, um, you know, during the 11th, well, you know, the seasons he was in. It, it's crazy stuff. And it's stuff that we link with Shane as a character. And it's because of how Rick changed into that mentality and it was because of Shane that he he had to go down that road of being brutal and, you know, killing certain people in a certain way to protect people and keep people he cared about and loved alive. Um, and that's why, you know, Shane changed The Walking Dead, in my opinion, because he changed the main character who everyone considers The Walking Dead. And, yeah, Rick Rick is The Walking Dead and all the stuff that he's done, the crazy stuff he's done, like killing Joel, like b- biting his throat out, uh, the brutal Rick that we see is because of Shane. And yeah, that's why I think Shane did change The Walking Dead in many ways. He didn't just sh- change Rick as a character. He changed a lot of characters. Um, but Rick is the main the main character because he is the main character of The Walking Dead. And at the end of the day, Shane has had a massive impact, as we know. You know, even in season nine, in that hallucination scene, is the first person he sees and talks to. And yeah, we know season one and two especially season two was the season that changed rick because of shane's death um and yeah that's what i personally feel that how change shane changed the walking dead i'd love to know your opinions on this a lot of people do not like shane so i kind of expect what i'm gonna hear in the comments about this um but yeah if you guys did enjoy the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one